Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? Hope you all are doing great and I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. And if not, hopefully you all have a better tomorrow. So today I wanted us to discuss Neapolitan. And this one was a very interesting discussion and I thought I'd bring this topic up. It's about, is Neapolitan really mute? So if you're a Neo fan, you may actually enjoy this and you might learn some facts about Neo you didn't know before. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's get started. Now, of course, as we know, Neo herself is actually one of the most mysterious characters in the Ruby series. And, you know, it's kind of funny saying that because Salem herself, as the main antagonist, she actually, you know, we know more about her than we actually do Neo. I mean, we know a couple things about Neo, but there's more things about Salem we actually know than we do Neo. And that's kind of crazy to actually think about because, you know, Neo's been in since Volume 2, but... Aside from her being like a master of disguise and, you know, uh, her incredible combat prowess, there's not really much else we actually know about this individual. And, you know, since she's very quiet and suspected to be mute, it's actually kind of something interesting to think about. But what if I were to tell you that there is a possibility she may not be mute at all? Neo may not actually be a mute character, and that's something that we may have just been led on to believe. You know, kind of interesting to think about, isn't it? You know? that she may actually not be mute. And now, interesting thing, before I get into the whole mutism and talking about that and what the symptoms are, we know that Neo actually has a, you know, voice actress. So, that's right, Neo Politan has a voice actress, but she's not had any lines as of any of the time she's been in the series at all. She has not had any lines yet whatsoever. It's kind of interesting to actually think about that... Neo has one, but no lines have been shared. That means that maybe within the future, there will be something. Now, of course, if we go back to remember within Volume 2, when she was actually introduced, you know, a part of uh, Torchwick's, you know, group, whenever he was still in control of the White Fang, during the initiation process, she had no lines whenever the White Fang members, you know, the new Fawn is coming into the White Fang, or at least, you know, supposedly going to join the White Fang, you know, there was literally no lines for Neo at all. Even in the scene that Neo came in to actually, you know, save Torchwick, there was literally no lines for her. Now that's actually something very interesting, and I actually want to talk about some of the things that actually kind of works with mutism, like, you know, why mutism can be a cause. Uh, either A, which I'm sure a lot of you know, you can be born mute. Some people actually are born mute, and they actually cannot speak. Now, of course, that's very sad. I do feel bad for people who are mute. It's very unfortunate. And, you know, but there are other reasons as to why an individual can be mute. Now, of course, during the moments that she's had conversation with Cinder as well, she has not talked either. Because, like, if you remember, you know, whenever she was, whenever they're having, you know, helping Mercury out after Mercury supposedly broke his leg, <laughs> supposedly, right? Uh, after that had occurred, she only nodded her head. She never actually said anything yet again when Cinder, you know, thanked her for what, you know, doing her job. So that's actually kind of interesting. But, you know, the thing about mutism is it can be caused by several different things. Uh, one of them can actually be the inability to maintain eye contact. But we've seen Neo do this. So that means that it's not anything to do with eye contact. Uh, another thing could be sensitive and loud, crowded situations. Now, maybe Neo is sensitive to loud, crowded situations. You know, that's possible, but we don't know that. We haven't seen any actual symptoms of that being possible. Now, another thing is there could be the possibility of social, social isolation and withdrawal. Now, with social iso isolation and withdrawal, if you, you know, are not around people very often, like a recluse, that actually can show the, you know, proof of not being able to have, you know, any conversation skill whatsoever, and you may not have a need to talk if you don't talk to people very often. And so sometimes some people can shut down because of this. And if we remember, you know, I want to go back to the whole maintaining eye contact. Another thing that's interesting was during the fight with Yang, um, Neo obviously had eye contact with her in the beginning whenever the fight was getting ready to occur. So it shows you it, it probably isn't due to eye contact because she can maintain it. You know, I know I'm saying that again, but just letting everybody know. So she doesn't have problems with that. Um, now, of course, a couple of other things is, you know, being clingy can be something, but I, I don't know if we've ever really, I mean, yeah, she's worked with Hortrick, but I don't know if I'd say that's clingy per se. I mean, she saved him probably because of, you know, business tactics and, but, you know, business reasons, you know, things of that sort. But, um, something to look at also is she could have a conversation disorder. Now, a conversation disorder can be a cause of, you know, loss of speaking ability. 
that may also be a possibility. Now, do we know that yet again? No. And, you know, Neo, like I said, she's a very mysterious character. But, you know, the thing, the thing of it is, is that maybe, you know, looking at everything, maybe she actually may have been born with a problem, too, because there are other symptoms that has to do with this. Like, uh, for example, um, like, um, aphasia is, it can rob all aspects of speech and language. It is the damage of the cerebral centuries of the language. That could be something that could be her problem. Um, but, you know, another thing is conversation, well, actually, I already said that. Sorry, I already said conversation disorder. Sorry, I was going to say, uh, feral children. Now, that one's an interesting one. Now, why bring up feral children when, you know, I, mean, I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, wait, you like fall out? No, 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 not that kind of feral. Now, what feral children actually can be is to grow up outside of a human society uh, and also usually struggle in learning any language. So maybe the possibility of this is, what if Neo actually, you know, was a feral child? What if her family was killed off? And the reason why I say her family was killed off, maybe a uh, hunter or huntress could have come in and actually killed her family. Now, that could be something. Um, of course, we don't know that, but it's a possibility that maybe a hunter hunters could come in and could have killed her family for reasons unknown. Maybe her family was not a good family, or maybe they were just, you know, people within a bad moment, you know, like within the moment of a crisis and something may have happened, or corrupt, you know, hunter huntresses. Another reason that could have actually caused her to be a feral child if she was one is, well, the Grimm. The Grimm, you know, obviously they kill whatever. And Neo's parents, for all we know, could have actually died when she was a child. To see that this could have actually happened, and to see that, you know, that could have, you know, been the case if the Grimm had actually killed her parents, whether her parents maybe being, I don't know, um, hunters, huntresses, maybe just regular individual folk people, who knows? We don't know. But what we can say is for muteness, that could be a reason that Neo could possibly be mute if she is mute, because traumatization can you know, cause an individual to be mute as well. There have been some cases where people have been traumatized to the point where they have just lost their pattern of speech. And, you know, maybe that could have happened to Neo too. Maybe some events caused her to not speak, or just, you know, be like, hey, you know what, I, I, I literally am dumbfounded to the point where I can't speak. And that could happen. An individual could lose their speech patterns due to traumatization. So, really, there are so many things. And I think, like, you know, in the future, I think Neo does need a character arc to herself. Like, I think, you know, because it's said that Neo is going to come back in the future, maybe she will have a character arc describing what happened to her as to why she doesn't even talk, or maybe she just chooses not to talk. It's, it's interesting. You know, Neo is an interesting character. There are so many theories we could come up with this character, but. That's as much as we know for now. But hey, who's to say? But, you know, this is all just a thought and just a discussion to put out there. Um, so let me know what you all think down below. Let me know if you all think Neo is mute or not. Let me know if you think this is very interesting. I mean, if she has a voice actress, that means that there's a possibility she may not be mute. But who knows? But anyways, if you like the video, hit it with a like. If, um, you know, you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And uh, share this with your friends if you thought this was very interesting. Cyber Tell's a wonderful day. And remember, if today wasn't good, there's always tomorrow. Take care, everybody.